everybody. Hey, welcome to this episode of Adventures with Janice. Hey, on this episode, I'm going to show you this little heater that me and Kelly found at a flea market. Uh, one I haven't never seen before, and uh, hopefully it's going to keep us <laughs> warm on our camping trips here this fall. And uh, so let me show you what we found. So this is what we found. This Coleman uh, catalytic heater. Um, it's a uh, 3,000 to 5,000 BTU. Uh, it takes just regular uh, camping fuel. And when I saw it at Pickers uh, Antique Flea Market Mall, I didn't know exactly what it was. I'm like, well, heck, I ain't never seen one before. So I did some research on it and looked at it, and it's actually a heater. And um, so we purchased it. It's about 25 bucks. Uh, it's in great shape. Uh, we've already put fuel in it make sure it works and uh so now i'm going to just kind of go over it show you how it works and uh and it puts out some heat so so <clears throat> the you got two little knobs right here uh, that when you press them in it opens the lid the lid comes with a handle <clears throat> then it comes with uh this what i call a cake pan lid this actually uh, turns it off <laughs> whenever you get done you just place this back over it and basically what it does is it um, stops the burning process it keeps uh, oxygen from it and it turns it off so uh, so yeah that's all it is and then you actually have the burning element here this is where you put your fuel in has instructions on it and then this right here is where you gauge the high and low uh, on the Top. It's got start, high, and then low right here. 3,000 BTU would be low, and of course, 5,000 be the high. So uh, it's in pretty good shape. So the way you turn it on is that you have to turn it upside down until this top right here gets like a, you'll see the color change up here, and it'll be a wet spot about the size of a. Uh, 50 cent piece or a little bit larger and then you just light it up so uh, let me show you how we're going to do that so first of all you're going to do is turn it upside down and you can hear the, the fluid and stuff coming through see the, the wet spot from the fuel. And so next, the only thing you do is light her up. And then it takes about five to 10 minutes for this to burn down. Um, we'll put that on start there. <clears throat> So it'll take about five to 10 minutes for that to burn down. And uh, then you'll see it actually start producing the heat. I mean, of course it's producing heat now, but uh, the, the flame will die down and then the element will heat up, so. So Kelly and I went to, uh, to Gunner Hill State Park um, and uh, a couple weekends ago, and it was windy, uh, but it really got cold that evening. So, of course, we're not going to put this in the bus, but we're, when we was outside sitting, uh, watching TV, and just hanging out, um, it got kind of chilly. So this will be perfect uh, for right there at the bus when we're sitting outside um, and we don't have a campfire going. Uh, this will officially go the first weekend in November uh, back to Gunner Hill. Um, 
in, we're gonna take us some firewood and we'll have us a fire going. But when we're up next to the bus and when Kelly's out there cooking, she can have this out there to keep it warm. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it works. It, it surprised me because uh, I haven't never seen one before. And um, but yeah, it works. Now, one thing that we are going to do is we're going to get a ceramic heater, electric heater for inside the bus uh, at night whenever we go to bed because that Saturday night that we was there, it got really, really cold. <laughs> and, uh, of course, we had blankets and everything, but it's just the heat. If we had a heating element like a, a heater, then it would have kept us a whole lot warmer. But, um, but yeah, so this last trip that we went on uh, camping, we know now what we need to bring, what we don't need to bring. Uh, so, and, it's, and it, was, it was fun. It was enjoyable. Okay, as you can see, it's been a little bit over five minutes, and now the uh, flame has died down. And I mean, you can the heat coming off this thing um, right now, and you ain't gonna be able to see it. And then you just put the lid back over it, and there you have it. I can feel the heat coming on the top right here out here on the side and as it starts to warm up <clears throat> it says it takes about 15 to 20 minutes uh, once it gets lit to actually produces max uh, maximum temperature so uh, yeah like right now yeah it's it would heat up a small enclosure uh, tent or lean to somewhere like, like that right there um, We've, on our pop-up tent that we put beside a, the bus, um, let me see if I can get you on that, next to the bus, um, we've got some sides that we can put up to keep the wind uh, from blowing through. And then when we like this and put this in there, it'll heat that little area up, up under our pop-up tent in front of the bus but yeah i mean it's putting out some heat right now so and at night uh you'll be able to see this the heating element to be an orange glow to it so <clears throat> yeah the, the only thing that uh after i bought it and got to looking online is that uh this little knob here is missing here and there would be a knob right here uh, to adjust the temperature on it. But, I mean, it still works, so. But yeah, it's, it's putting out some heat. And then if you wanna lower it, you just push it over there to the low setting and uh, it lowers the heat. So yeah. So we found that. Uh, athletic uh, heater first time I've ever seen one uh, and it works so not a bad buy for 25 bucks so and I've seen them on uh, so I got on eBay and they're running <clears throat> between 45 up to a hundred bucks uh, on eBay so made a pretty good pretty good find here and it's definitely going to help us stay warm uh when we go camping especially outside the bus so but yeah so that's our uh new little added feature to our camping gear uh it's the coleman catalytic heater um 3000 to 5000 btu it just takes regular uh 
camping fuel and, um, and that's it and then like I said whenever you get ready to uh, turn it off just open it back up <clears throat> I mean and with the lid off it actually puts out <laughs> a whole lot more heat with the lid off but for safety reasons you put the lid back on it uh, so nobody or anything comes in contact with this heating element right here so but yeah then to turn it off or to shut it down you just take this pie lid right here and what it does it creates a seal around there and you just let it sit and then it turns itself off so so yeah that's our uh, new look had it camping and it's got a handle right here where we can hang it on something so but yeah I just got through cleaning it uh, it was dusty and everything so but when I put the fuel in I looked down into the fuel canister it looked brand new it looked like it had never had fuel in it a lot of times when you find something like this right here or an old camping uh, or Coleman lantern it hadn't had fuel in it for a while a lot of time it'll build up condensation inside uh, from the temperature change and sometimes you'll see rust down there uh, in it and this one right here is clean as a whistle so well, all right so yeah so I hope you enjoyed this I uh, hope you can find one uh, out there if you find one and it's at a good price I'd get it uh, if you like to go camping a lot and when you go it's, um, it's cool at night so so yeah so that's our new Coleman heater uh, added to our camping gear so until this till next episode hey um, hey like we say in the V-Dub world travel them if you got them peace and V-Dub life see you on the next one Hey, Kelly and I would like to thank you for tuning in to this episode of Adventures with Janice. If you'd like to keep up with our adventure, make sure you click that subscribe button and click that bell for notifications of when we post new videos. Also, if you like the content, hey, give us a big thumbs up. And you can always leave us comments in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. So thanks for tuning in to this episode of Adventures with Janice. And remember, like we say in the V-Dub world, drive them if you got them. Peace and V-Dub life.